Factor 3. The factor that most people associate with copyright is the third factor in the fair use checklist, amount and substantiality of portion used. Many know this as the 10% rule. If you only use a small portion of work and it's not considered the heart of the work, you're more likely to fall within the realm of fair use. Just because you've used under 10% of a given work, however, does not automatically qualify for fair use. If the portion you selected is the heart of the work, it may not be covered by fair use. One of the most frequently cited examples of heart of the work is the Harper and Rowe Publishers, Inc. versus Nation Enterprise case. Only 300 to 400 words of a 500-page memoir by President Gerald Ford were quoted verbatim in a Nation magazine article, but since those words were President Ford's description of why he pardoned Nixon, that was considered the heart of the book. It was the reason why many people wanted to buy the book, and by printing such a lengthy excerpt without permission, it impacted the market value of the work. Another element in the amount and substantiality portion used factor is access to the work. If you are posting aspects of a work to an open website or to YouTube, you may be infringing on copyright. Instead, it is better to post to a secure, password-protected site like Moodle that is only accessible to a limited number of students. If you have an article from a journal that we own um, and that you want to copy and distribute to your students in PDF form, we highly recommend that you not only post it to your Moodle course, but that you also place a note on each page indicating that the work is for classroom purposes only and should not be distributed to anyone outside the course. McCain Library can train you how to use our article databases to find articles that you want to share with students. Then you can provide a URL to the article that we already license through our databases. This is always the best route for sharing articles with your students. Here are two examples. One is from JSTOR, an article from the University of Pennsylvania Law Review. Notice that the article is listed down here, and right underneath the title of the work is a stable URL. By copying this URL, putting it in Moodle, or even emailing it to my students, you are completely safe and um, covered under fair use. We already licensed this work, and by as long as you're not giving out the username and password for students to be able to access this article, then you're covered. They should be able to access it with their campus ID number and their first and last name, or through the Galileo password. The same is true with any article that you might find in the EBSCOhost databases. EBSCOhost owns several different databases that we subscribe to. Academic Search is one, but there's also History, Historical Abstracts, Newspaper Source, Economics databases. Many cover topics are covered here, so you pretty much can find something that you need um, and be able to share that article with your students by using the permanent URL. So here's the search that I did for Nation forward and copyright, and I found an article called Two Faces of Fair Use. Normally this permalink is not up at there at the top, but um, if you click over on the right hand side, the link to permalink, this will appear and it provides you with the URL that you can share with your students. Again, you're completely covered by copyright because we've already, um, by fair use, because we've already paid for this material by licensing it through our databases. And again, please don't share your username and password with others or else that is a violation of fair use to give access to somebody who is not covered underneath our license. So that's factor three. The final factor is covered in another video, so please check that out, or see our previous videos to learn more about other factors of fair use.